To establish the link between exponential function with logarithmic function, let's have a review of exponent and logarithm. Review exponents by simplifying the given exponential equations, and finding the value of x in each case. Given the exponential function, 2 to the 4th power equals x, the value of x is 16. Given the exponential function, 4 to the 3rd power equals x, the value of x is 64. Given the exponential function, 3 raised to the negative 1, equals x, the value of x is 1 third. Given the exponential function, 64 raised to the negative 1 half, equals x, the value of x is 1 eighth. Let us consider looking at another perspective. What if it's the exponent that is missing? Notice that each of the exponential equations has an exponent denoted by x. How can we determine the value of x? How do we solve for x? There is a mathematical way to present the equation if the exponent x is missing, and that is through logarithms, this is known as the inverse process of exponentiation. So the exponential equation 5 to the x power equals 625, can be written in a logarithmic form as logarithm of 625 to the base 5 equals x. Now let us present the solution for this example where the exponent x is missing. Five to the x power equals 625, it can be written in a logarithmic form as logarithm of 625 to the base 5 equals x, and x equals logarithm of 625 to the base 5. In this case, x equals 4 because 5 to the 4th power equals 625. 2 to the x power equals 1 8, it can be written in a logarithmic form as logarithm of 1 8 to the base 2 equals x and x equals logarithm of 1 8 to the base 2. In this case, x equals negative 3 because 2 to the negative 3 equals 1 8. Seven to the x power equals one. It can be written in a logarithmic form as logarithm of one to the base seven equals x. And x equals logarithm of one to the base seven. In this case, x equals zero because seven to the zero power equals one. 10 to the x power equals 100,000, it can be written in a logarithmic form as logarithm of 100,000, to the base 10 equals x, 
and x equals logarithm of 100,000 to the base 10. In this case x equals 5, because 10 to the 5th power equals 100,000. Let's have another set of examples. What exponent of 2 will give 32? Answer, 5. In logarithmic form this can be written as, the logarithm of 32 to the base 2, equals 5. What exponent of 9 will give 729? Answer, 3. In logarithmic form this can be written as, the logarithm of 729 to the base 9, equals 3. What exponent of 5 will give 5? Answer, 1. In logarithmic form this can be written as, the logarithm of 5 to the base 5, equals 1. What exponent of 1 half will give 16? Answer, negative 4. In logarithmic form this can be written as, the logarithm of 16 to the base 1 half, equals negative 4. What exponent of 5 will give 1 over square root of 5? Answer, negative 1 half. In logarithmic form this can be written as, the logarithm of 1 over square root of 5 to the base 5 equals negative 1 half. Definition. Let A and N be positive real numbers, such that A is not equal to 1. The logarithm of a number n, with base a, denoted by the logarithm of n, to the base a, is defined as x, such that, a to the x power, equals n. That is, the logarithm of n, to the base a, is the exponent x, that a must be raised, to obtain n. And here's task number 1, write the following in logarithmic form, and solve for the missing value of x. Task number 2, write the following in exponential form, and solve for the missing value of x. Thank you. Here's anticipating that you get acquainted with how exponent is correlated to logarithm.